Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I will talk about an exciting news about Suzuki, one of the most trusted name in the two-wheeler industry. Suzuki is all set to electrify its portfolio and guess what, the sweat is almost over. Let's talk about the upcoming electric scooters, the Suzuki Access Electric and the e Man. So for all the details, make sure to watch the full video. <laughs> Alright, let's start with the big news. Suzuki is finally entering the electric scooter market. Yes, I know it's a bit late compared to some other competitors like the Ola, Ather and even Honda which is about to launch their Activa electric in the Indian market. But as they say, better late than never, right? Suzuki has been testing its electric scooters on Indian roads for a quite some time now. If you have been keeping an eye out, you might have spotted the e barkman being tested. But here's the thing. Suzuki plans to debut their electric version of their very popular scooter, the Suzuki Access. And trust me, this is going to shake up the electric market. So what can you expect from the Suzuki Access Electric? Let's break it down now. First, let's talk about the launch timeline. Now, while Suzuki has not given up an exact date yet, the buzz is around that the production has already started from December 2024 and we could see the Access Electric to hit the showrooms by mid-2025. That's just around the corner. Now, pricing. This is super important for us, right? The Suzuki Access Electric is expected to cost somewhere between 1 lakh to 1.2 lakh X showroom prices. This puts it in the same price range as competitors like the Ola S1 Pro, Vega C12i and the Ather 450S. Honestly, that's a sweet spot for an electric scooter with great features. Speaking of features, let's dive into the powertrain and performance. The Access Electric will come with a high capacity lithium ion battery that is paired with a powerful electric motor. Well, you can expect a range of around 100 to 150 kilometers on a single charge. I think that's pretty solid for city commutes and even for those occasional long rides. But wait, there's more. Suzuki is going all out with the suspension and braking system. I'm talking about telescopic front forks and a rear monoshock for super comfortable ride. Add to that alloy wheels with tubeless tires and you are in for a smooth, stable ride conditions for Indian roads. For braking, Suzuki might give us a front disc brake, a rear drum brake and even a combined braking system. Now let's talk about the design. While Suzuki has not shared an official image yet, the Access Electric is expected to resemble its petrol sibling. So I think this will be sleek and modern design with a mix of classic and contemporary styling. I can expect LED headlights and tail lights for that premium feel and a digital instrument cluster and maybe even some chrome accents like the petrol version. And the seat, ergonomically it will be designed for comfort, of course, plus spacious under seat storage will be provided for helmet accessories. Oh, and let's not forget the smart features. The Access Electric is rumored to have a Bluetooth enabled digital console with turn by turn navigation. You will also get call alerts, SMS alerts and even get WhatsApp messages. There's also even talking about a point like the USB charging port, a front storage rack and dual luggage hook. Basically, Suzuki wants this scooter to be practical as its style is. Now, let's quickly touch on the competition. The Suzuki Access Electric will be up against some big names like the Honda Activa Electric, the Ampera Nexus and the Ather Richter. But with Suzuki's reputation and reliability and the popularity, the Access brand, I think it can be a good shot at making a mark in the growing segment, in the growing EV segment. And let's not forget about the e Bargman. While the Access Electric will have a fixed battery pack, the e Bargman might come with a swipeable battery option. So this is the video for now. What is your thought on this model? Please mention that on the comment box below. Until next time, be safe, ride safe.